So the first thing you're gonna do when you're doing a pantry is empty the whole thing out. So I'm gonna use laundry basket to help us get started. I ripped out all of the old shelves. They were original from 1950. You take the measurements of the space, the width, the height, the depth, and then I went to the container store, my second home, as you know. Yes. And they'll tell you exactly the size of the shelves that you need and the, and the length and everything that you need. This is the Alpha system. This entire thing hangs on one track along the top of the wall. And then everything else hangs on that track. How uh -huh. cool is that? So this is totally easy. Anybody can do this. I think the goal now is to see everything else that's come out of the pantry and see if we can't get it all back in. One of the most important things when you're doing a pantry is taking everything out of the boxes and out of the bags and getting them onto these airtight containers. This is what the kids do. And then they kind of do that, but then really it doesn't, you know, right? And I'm like, well, somebody made an effort to seal that. But, but so now this is in one of these bins, and then you just, and then you seal it. And then this trail mix, it's going to last a really long time. These bins we're going to use for the snacks. The grab-and-go bins, I think, are always really important, and that's why these aren't in the sealed containers. You don't want things like the cardboard boxes in your pantry, because it doesn't look as nice, but also it just is such a waste of space. I kind of like the idea of using every inch that you've got. This is all of the different pastas, and so these are just going to slide in right down here. These would yeah, take up a lot of space in here because of all the air in the bag. Right. Don't those fit nicely in here? Take all the tea, all the tea bags out of the boxes, and they go and they fit right in here. Mm -hmm. 